Elijah Manier is the chief international correspondent for Al Rai newspaper, and he's inside Damascus. Uh, what more can you tell us? Um, well, I think the commanders on the ground in Damascus are saying that there was a, a, a drone uh, that um, was very close to the Israeli-Syrian uh, borders and actually uh, went beyond the borders and managed to uh, violate the Israeli airspace uh, in a kind of ambush attracting the Israeli to retaliate while there were the uh, Syrian air defense system was waiting to fire against any response of the, any uh, object, uh, obvious an expected response of the Israeli Air Force. And this is exactly what happened at 4 o'clock in the morning when the Israelis tried to intercept the Iranian drone without shooting it down because the sources in Damascus say the drone hasn't been shot down. And um, uh, the uh, Syrian air defense system fired uh, a dozen or more uh, anti-air missile against the uh, uh, Israeli F-16 and uh, managed to uh, bring it down. And the um, F-16 uh, was down exactly on the uh, Israeli-Syrian borders. It means that the uh, jet didn't really manage to cross into the Syrian airspace and was immediately shot down. It means largely and most credibly that was the jet was expected. What was it that sparked this escalation? Well, we can see that Syria is uh, sending a message to Israel that after the liberation of the rural Idlib, Hama, and uh, uh, Aleppo, the uh, big pocket that was controlled by ISIS, ISIL, and uh, following the elimination of that pocket and the liberation of the whole area, around 15,000 officers and soldiers uh, of the Syrian army were free and now dedicated fully to regain the balance uh, against Israel and to tell the Israelis you don't cross the border. On the other hand, uh, a few days ago, uh, the, um, uh, the Kurds, uh, the YPG, um, uh, shot down, uh, well, well, sorry, not the YPG, the uh, uh, Al-Qaeda allies shot down a Russian uh, jet, and uh, the Russian accused the Americans of supplying the Al-Qaeda allies with uh, manpad, uh, uh, and they were extremely upset about it. So that also another Russian message to the Israelis and to the Americans, saying uh, we can also upset you on the Syrian, on the southern Syrian borders, and we can also allow the uh, Syrian uh, government to exert its sovereignty over uh, the Syrian state. A very, so very, very briefly, what do you make of the release of the footage? Well, Israel um, had no choice but to release the uh, footage uh, because at the beginning it was a confusing uh, claim that uh, they shot down an Iranian drone and later, a few hours later, they've decided to uh, uh, show the reality and say this is what happened and uh, we understand the message and we can't hide it and we understand that Syria is trying to establish a new rule of engagement on the borders. So basically Israel uh, is no longer uh, allowed to have a promenade over Syria. Elijah Manier in Damascus, thank you very much for talking to us.